but I will always defend the ANC for as long as it is at the helm and in contact uh, uh, with the people of speaker, South Africa. Perhaps in keeping with what, the historical significance of the moment, minister. We the, rules, of order. the rules are clear that uh, members must stick to the topic of debate. State and Gotata got to two sons, not member, about the ANC. That's not your Can you please order. focus, Mama? Honorable member, we are not talking about you being here. Honorable member, honorable member, stop it's talking. like you are I'm applying for a job microphone. to us. No, no, we are honorable talking member, I'm switching off your microphone. Mama Take your seat. Honorable Minister, please proceed with your debate. Honorable Member, Honorable Minister, proceed with your debate. Perhaps in keeping with the historical significance of the moment, a point of Honorable, Honorable Minister, please take your seat. Yes, Honorable Member. Yeah. What are you rising on, Honorable Minister? Deputy Speaker, I rise on point on rule number 92. A point of order. Rule number two, Chairperson, clearly states that members must stand up with a point of order and indicate which rule are they referring to. Nyakela chair, Uguti Ageus Nete, Ageus Nete, Gula Bantu Abati Steba, U Sisnosi Viwe Ekuluma. Chairperson, you are allowing particularly the EFF not only to disrupt, but to make political statements. We are all capable of doing that, but there are rules of the House. So Honorable, the nonsense is Honorable Minister, Honorable Minister, I haven't allowed anybody to break the rules. I have told them to not to point, do that, and you are falsely accusing me. On it's point, incorrect. On Honorable, of order. what are you raising, Honorable Member? Honourable member, member says Uzibam Belezinto. No, no. Who is Uzibam here? Can you please tell her to withdraw those weights? Honourable, Honourable, Honourable Gadi, take your seat. I've heard you. Take your seat. Yes. Take your seat, that. Honourable Member. I've heard you. Honourable Minister, did you say that? Honourable Minister, did you say that? Uh, honorable, honorable Minister, you can't say that. You have to withdraw that. Honorable Minister, you have to withdraw this. That's not said in the House. I withdraw. Unconditionally, please. Honorable Members, order. Chief honorable Prince Members, honorable order. Honorable, honorable, honorable Speaker. Honorable, honorable, honorable Speaker. Malema, what are you raising no, on now? You, next time you must bring breathalyzers here, man. No, man. Honorable. How can a normal sober person say such Honorable Honorable Malema, you are out of order, and we, you must withdraw that. Honorable Malema, withdraw that. You, you, honorable member, you withdraw that. Any member here, what breathalyzer here? Withdraw it, Honorable Malema. What withdraw. is unparliamentary about no, that? No, withdraw your statement, Honorable Member. Which rule are you applying? I will remind you of something. Honorable members. We have used the word brutalized and this parliament Honorable, before, Honorable. never such a ruling. Honorable Chivamo, who gave you the right to speak? On the point Take of your order. seat. Take your seat. Honorable Malema, I requested you to withdraw imputing I, what I, you imputed on I, the member. I withdraw because I don't want you to chase me out. I want to vote a criminal Take your out. Seat. Take your seat, honorable member. Honourable Deputy seat. Speaker. Speaker. Deputy Speaker. Honourable Members. Honourable Member. Honourable Minister, please proceed. Honourable Deputy Speaker. On the point Speaker. of order, Chair. Honourable oh, Members. On the point of order, Chair. Yeah, oh yes, Honourable Member. Oh, I'm rising on Rule 84. Honourable Malema has just said that he's going to vote a criminal out. It is unparliamentary. Please. Oh, Honorable Malema, did you say that? Yes, I did. Withdraw that, Honorable Member. I withdraw. I want to vote a crook out. Honorable Malema, withdraw that. Withdraw that. I withdraw. I want to Uncon vote Lemene men out. Honorable Malema, you withdraw, that unparliamentary? you withdraw unconditionally or you'll have to take consequences of your decision? I, I withdraw. Take your seat, Honourable Member. Unconditional. Yes. <laughs> Honourable Deputy Speaker. Yes, Honourable Member, what are you rising on? 
Honourable Deputy Speaker, the, yes. minis the Minister earlier did not withdraw unconditionally. She said she draws. Honourable Member. There is a difference between drawing and withdrawing. So she must withdraw and not just draw. Honourable Member, please take your seat. That's frivolous. Go ahead, Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. On the 23rd of May 2014, the then leader of the Democratic Alliance, Honourable Helen Zill, while making her final election campaign, called to the voters, to, summed up the message of her party when she said this to South Africans, and I quote, remember that in a democracy, the government is supposed to work for you. You hire it and you fire it. And we all know how it is done. You hire with your vote and you fire with your vote, close quote. Few days later, South Africans voted in an overwhelming majority and rejected her invitation to fire the ANC government. She was correct, however, in her assertion that we all know how it is done, referring to the electoral process as the most credible test to determine what the people want. It is the only way voters can truly express themselves directly on what is best. On a point of order, uh Deputy Speaker. What's your point of order, Honorable Member? Honorable Minister, please take your Section 102 of the Constitution says a president can be removed, and that is legal. She, the Speaker cannot mislead the nation by saying that as a president can only be removed no, by no. a general election. Take she must seat, withdraw Honorable that statement, no, please. No, no, That's a political statement, Honorable Member. Take your seat. Proceed. 